Hi guys, so I decided to make a vlog talking about my own neuroses. Lovely, huh? See, I used to suffer from very severe anxiety. I began having panic attacks in college. In fact, I had one panic attack that was so bad that I had to go to the hospital because I thought I was having a heart attack. So my anxiety actually started about 18. I was thousands of miles away from home with no idea what I wanted to do with my life. And after becoming a certified NLP master practitioner, I now realize that my panic was my mind becoming consumed by fear. Now, how it works is I would get trapped in this OCD loop and I would think one fear-based thought and then another and soon I'd be trapped in the negative emotion of fear. Now, I believe we all suffer from some negative emotions. Perhaps not to that extent, but it's very common. I also suffered from sleep anxiety, and this started at an extremely young age. I had a very hard time sleeping, and then I would look at my clock, and I don't know if you've ever done this before, and you see, and you're like, oh my god, it's three o'clock, what am I going to do? I'm just going to worry about this. I'm going to worry that I'm only going to get one hour of sleep. And then you wake up, and you're a mess. And I literally got sent home from camp when I was a child because I didn't sleep for six nights in a row. Yeah, I was a weird kid. So the reason that I'm sharing all of this information with you is not so you can think that I'm crazy, but I wanna share with you that I have suffered from many negative patterns and emotions. I've even dealt with PTSD and extreme depression after the death of my boyfriend. Now, I'm not saying that I'm perfect and that I never suffer from anything anymore. But what I am saying is that by doing some of these tools that I'm sharing with you today, I have been able to change my life and be consistently happy for a long period of time. Now, I've found that many things can help with anxiety, depression, hypochondria, anger, and PTSD. For severe cases of PTSD, I do believe that psychotropics such as ayahuasca and mushrooms can have a profound effect. However, the thing that I have found helped me the most when I would have an anxiety attack and get stuck in a fear-based loop was doing a mantra. Now, mantras originated from ancient Hindu culture, and it's a word or sound used in repetition to aid with concentration for meditation. So how it works is by repeating the mantra over and over again, you can pattern interrupt your thoughts and get out of your negative mindset and into a calm, neutral state of mind. Now, I recommend doing this mantra for at least three minutes to really break the pattern. And you don't need to be in a negative mindset to do a mantra. In fact, doing a mantra in a positive state of mind will bring you to even more positive states of mind, allowing creative new thoughts to come into your mind. So once you do your mantra, you then sit cross-legged, close your eyes, and focus on either your third eye, which is right here with your eyes closed, or your crown chakra, which is above your head, and you just meditate. And in this space, your mind is clear, and here you can make good decisions, get clear on what you really, really want. <laughs> and meditating will definitely help you in your everyday life and remove that annoying clutter. So after doing Kundalini Yoga for many years, I've learned many mantras in Gurmukhi, an ancient Sanskrit-like language, which I love. However, I like to know what I'm saying in English too. So I created some of my own mantras using many of the tools that I've learned in NLP to reprogram my mind for success and happiness. Now, these mantras have personally helped me and changed my life. So I figured I'd share them with you guys so you could benefit as well. I really look forward to sharing more of my mantras and meditations with you all. Thank you so much.